This is the Shark Apex vacuum with Lift Away Zero M technology, it's supposed to be a great pet hair vac. I've been in search for a great pet hair vac for years. Is this one the next contender? Let's find out in today's review. So today I want to talk about this Shark vacuum, the Apex with Lift Away Zero M technology that supposedly good for pet hair. Now, I've been using this for a while. I wasn't actually planning on reviewing it. I was just trying to find a good pet hair vac. But because my results have been pretty good, I thought I would share it with you guys. It's not a sponsored post. Shark didn't pay me to do this. I'm just sharing with you a product that I have that I think might be of benefit if you have pet hair problems and can't, haven't found the perfect vacuum yet. I'll show you the rest of the features but I really want to focus on the pet hair factor. Now, if you've watched my channel much, you know I have two golden retrievers and those dogs have long hair that sheds and I think my dogs are about 10 and 0 on vacuums over the last 13 years. And this one seems to be so far the best vacuum I've had to deal with pet hair. And I know there's other vacuums out there and when it's all said and done, maybe you can suggest one I can try as well. But for right now, this is the best one I've tried and I'm gonna show you exactly why. This is the Shark Ion Flex. I reviewed this one back in 2017. It's a good vacuum but it's not really that great for pet hair because I'm actually having to open this up and literally cut the pet hair off with a razor. So that's not really very user friendly as far as pet hair goes. Although the vacuums are similar, they're both by Shark. As you can see, they both have a duo clean technology, which is a stiff bristle brush on the inside and a soft roller on the outside. This actually helps pick up larger objects without pushing them forward. But this roller here ends up getting completely covered in hair after a few passes. Whereas on the Apex, I get a little bit of hair, but that's about as much as I get on there. That little bit is all I've seen on there after vacuuming my floor. What I'm gonna do now is vacuum part of my room with the Ionflex, part of my room with the Apex, and show you the pet hair difference. I've seen a lot of pet hair vacuum demonstrations, and they take pet hair and they put it on the floor, but pet hair owners know that the hardest pet hair is the stuff that gets in the carpet, deep down and saturated inside. That's the pet hair that's the problem. It's not the pet hair you see, it's the pet hair you don't see. I usually vacuum my floor almost every day. I haven't vacuumed in several days trying to help let it build up. And I'm gonna show you right now exactly what happens. First thing I'm gonna do is show you the Shark Ion Flex, which again, I think is a very good vacuum. I've used it ever since my review. Been very happy with it, except for pet hair, which becomes a problem. It's cordless, which is convenient. You have uh, this kind of cool feature for going underneath tables. That's kind of nice. A lot of cool things about it. Let's do a couple passes on the floor and see what the pet hair problem is. All right, so I've done half of my room now and there is the pet hair. Keep in mind, this was completely cleaned off when I started and there it is. Again, good vacuum, but it doesn't handle pet hair too well. Now let's try this bad boy for the other half of my room and see how it compares. This is a 30 foot cord, by the way, so ample cord space. Now, if you recall from before, I didn't even clean this out from the last time. If you can see, this is actually on, stuck to these bristles. It's not wrapped around. So once again, just to compare, there was a little bit on the bristles here, significantly more on the Ion Flex. So it's definitely something that's working for this vacuum. Which one would you guys rather deal with? To me, I know which one I would rather deal with. This one, I barely have to clean it. This one I have to clean after every use. I definitely think this is a better technology. Whatever they're doing inside under the hood, it's working. It's time for pet hair test number two. And I've got Bailey here who's gonna help me out by contributing a fresh batch of pet hair, right Bailey? So Bailey loves being brushed and she's gonna contribute a bunch of pet hair for me. Good girl. Look at all the hair. Oh man, I got pet hair myself. Maybe I should use one of these lint rollers that I reviewed before. You can see right up here. Dollar store, nah. 1960s era, maybe. Hurricane Fur Wizard, definitely. So pet hair test number two, I'm going to use two big piles of hair and see how the rollers do with these. I don't know if this is realistic. 
I don't even know how the Apex is going to do. I know how the Ion Flex is going to do because I've done this before. The reason I want to compare the two vacuums is because they use the same technology except for the Zero M technology. Uh, completely unrealistic. Well, maybe for some people it's unrealistic. Maybe for some people that's realistic. I think there might be slightly more hair in this one, so I'm gonna use that one for the Apex. Shark Eye and Flex for the smaller pile. I really have no idea what the results are gonna be. I know that this one, it's gonna get wrapped up on the roller. This one, not sure, but let's find out right now. Here we go with the Shark Ion Flex. All right, it picked it up, but let me guess. It's kind of in the roller here. Now the apex. Really not very much, just like before. A little bit on these br bristles, but certainly less than the ion flex. And keep in mind there was more on the apex side than the ion flex side. Once again, ion, ion flex, apex. There's a difference. Look well, at that big piece right there. That big, big, big boy. Not much, not much. And I did clean these out. These were completely clean. I cleaned them out by hand before I started that test. So that's just that pile of hair picked up. All right, I wanna go over the attachments here. They've got a couple attachments. Typically the standard, you got the crevice tool. You have one, this one that converts to an upholstery tool and they work pretty much as you would expect. But this is the attachment that as pet owners, I think that is worth mentioning. This is the motorized pet tool. stores in this configuration you push this button you're ready to go so then you get this bad boy right here it's motorized lots of power I mean I can feel that grabbing onto the couch it has a lot of power to it it's even lighted it's even lighted oh no the dog's been sitting on the couch again good thing I've got my motorized pet hair tool. Whoa! Did you see it just suck that up? Whoa! Now there isn't much on the roller, so it, but it will eventually get pet hair on here. I had to clean this off once. The power of this is far beyond the typical attachments you'll find because it's motorized. There is one minor con of this vacuum, and that is that there's not a lot of flexibility of the hose. It doesn't take much. I'm only five feet away, and it's already starting to move it. I've seen Dysons and other vacuums where you can go halfway across the room. This one doesn't have a lot of, doesn't give you a lot of space. Minor complaint though, but something to consider. Another kind of cool feature is the powered lift away. We press this button and you actually disengage the entire bottom of the unit and you can carry it around Com comes completely off so you then have a handheld vac that you can carry around with you if you need more portability and that's actually kind of a cool feature all right so here's how the lift away feature works release the wand and look i'm i'm mobile now i am mobile i'm going to add an attachment So then you're not stuck to a floor vacuum when you want to do some hard to reach places. You can just hold it in your hand and lift away. It's pretty cool. Oops. It's a pretty cool feature. And pretty easy to reassemble as well. All right, what I've got here now is an old Dirt Devil sandwiched in between these two shark vacuums. Both of these sharks have the duo clean technology. 
the old Dirt Devils obviously doesn't. So I want to go uh, show you a demonstration of how the Duo Clean supposedly helps when you're picking up large objects on the floor. It doesn't kick them forward like a lot of vacuums do. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, well it did launch a couple of those forward. Uh, the Dirt Devil definitely pushed quite a bit of that forward without picking it up. Now all three of them kicked some of the materials forward, but the Duo Clean certainly did a better job. The old school Dirt Devil, it pushed a considerable amount of it forward and I had to go over it several times. So the Duo Clean is better, it's not perfect, but it's certainly an improvement over older technology. All right, so to it's full now. I wanted to get all the junk out of there. Dust cup release. Boom. You know what's also weird is this hair is more straight. A lot of times in the other vacuums it's more rolled up. Here it's actually just kind of straight hair, which is different. Pretty simple. All right, so if this was a sponsored post, I would be saying this is the perfect vacuum. Go out and buy it right now. But it's not a sponsored post but I do happen to like this vacuum. I would say the cons would be that it's kind of on the heavy side and the hose doesn't allow you a lot of room. It's also kind of on the expensive side. But that said, I think the pros outweigh the cons. The pros being that the motor is quiet. The Zero M technology is very good at keeping pet hair off the roller. By the way, there's other Shark Apexes without Zero M, so make sure you look at that one. I like the lift away mode as well and the motorized pet tool. So overall, I think this is a very good product. Have you used this product or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. Thanks, Billy.